Alright guys, so here comes the more difficult part. Part 2, server side networking. Oh, and by the way, um, from part 1, as to what you should set Hellworld to, I found out that either auto spawns you in the nether or that auto spawns you in the world. So, if you remember from the server properties thing, um, you're going to want to set that to uh, Hellworld false. Yeah, you don't want Hell World to be. I just tried that out. I thought it would activate the Nether. No, it actually forces you in the Nether. So set Hell World far false unless you actually want to go to the Nether. Regardless, all right. So I need to teach you guys a few things about how to connect to the servers. Okay. So most likely, only one person at your home is going to be connecting to your server. You're not going to have like you and four siblings all at the same home. And if you are, then I'll help you out with that. But regardless, most of you are going to have just your one computer connecting to that server. That's it. There's two ways to um, connect to a server. There's the local connection and then there's the internet connection. So what do I mean? You have a local door to get to your server which is just you only you can go through that door because the server is hosted on your computer if you're hosting which most people are they're gonna they're gonna turn on the server and my server is on by the way they're gonna turn on the server uh, and they're not gonna host it elsewhere they're just gonna go into it locally so my server is here hosted locally on my computer it's not on another computer and there's one specific door I can go through it that's it no other doors will allow me in then there's a second door which is how my friends will connect so you're gonna have ten people from you know different areas of the country different other countries all together they need to go through that door so what do I mean by these doors to figure out your first door you need your IPv4 address so where do you get that alright here we go this is the fun stuff you wanted to make the server, so you got to get through the hard part. Go to CMD and this Windows area. Enter. Once you do that, you want to do ipconfig slash all. I or no, just ipconfig should do it. Enter. You see this IPv4 address? Um, I don't. I don't even know if I should be showing this. Regardless, I have to. This is my local address to get to Minecraft. So 192.168.1.101. It's in this format because it's connected to a router and that router is 192.168 and then .1.101 this is this .101 part is very specific. It's a specific door. If I don't type this in exactly I can't get to my server. So let me just show you me getting into my server right now. Multiplayer. There it is. 192.168.1.101. Here you go. I'm the only one that can use this code. If you give this code to your friend, he will not be able to log in. This is your door and only your door. No one else can get into your server through any other, you know, no one can get through using this code. Now, let me show you if I just change it one bit, 102. I change one digit. Can I get to my server, yes or no? Connecting to server. Let's see what happens. One, it's taking too long. It should not take more than two seconds. Automatically, you know there's an issue. If it's taking this long, there's definitely something wrong. And it should say timeout or whatever. I'm just waiting for it to say that. If it doesn't say that, I'm going to press cancel. Our patience nowadays is very short. Oh, let me verify this. Don't optimize that for motion. Alright, so. I hope that changes on the fly. Anyways, failed to connect to the server. Why? Because I was off by one digit, so you can't be off at all. No one digit, no nothing. So here you go. Take this code and verify that you can log into your server. Once the server is launched, how do you launch your server? You have to run your run.bat file. Remember that file we made that we copied and pasted, you know, in Notepad? Yes, that file, you have to double click on it and it'll open this up. This is your server. So now that your server is up, you take that code that you just found out. And how did you find this out? You went to start command cmd and after you did start and command you did ipconfig 
you type and you press enter and it's this one IPv4 address there you go there's your code so I reviewed everything with you then you press connect now watch I'm gonna magically oh I'm magically in my world <laughs> yes so this is my floating stuff or fire and lava yeah I hope you enjoy um, this is we kinda cheated on this server I gave myself items anyways um, I can't stay here too long because it's here. Let me make it daytime. Slash add time six. Hold slash time add six. There you go. So I just made it daytime because I don't want you know creepers and stuff coming at me. This is another home. So now look, I'm in my server. Others can't get to my server though. So what what do we do? How do I get to my server? Well, let's disconnect. You guys got to see my server there. And look, if I'm off by one digit, it won't work. I need to give my friends the second door. What is the second door? Alright, to find your second door, you go to your browser, which is here, and you type in... You go to... What's my IP? Enter. I'm not going to click this because I don't want you to know my IP address, but if I were to click this you see how there's an example that's not my IP it's this person who cached his uh, Google cached their page his IP was 66249 that so you see this code you would take this code and you would tell your friends hey take you give them this code but remember there's one thing you have to change to the code you have to make the code go colon 25565 why? Because that 25565 is telling them go to that IP address and go to this port. Colon means port, so port 25565. If you just give them this num this code without the 25565, they won't be able to connect. So you need to give them this code that you'll find here and you need to be able to Put colon 25565. Okay, so this is incorrect because this is my local code. But yeah, just showing you for a sec. Now, before you can, they can even connect to you, you have to port forward. How do you port forward? Okay, that's a whole nother ball game um, we'll have to get into. And I'm going to make a whole new video just on how to port forward, okay? So, so far, you know, you know about the two doors. You know about there's a local address, which is the zero local address, and then there's the address your friends connect to, which you figure out by going to whatsmyip.com. And then after you figure that code out, you have to put colon 25565, which is your port. Alright, on to part three. We're going to go ahead and look at port forwarding. Why is it important to port forward? If your port's not open, no one can get to it. So, let's get to that. Stop this for now.